And staying with that urban architectural theme, according to a study published earlier this year by The Lancet, Paris is the European city where the risk of dying of heat is the highest during a heat wave. The French capital is particularly vulnerable as the city's homes use zinc, a heat-absorbing metal on their roofs, exacerbating high temperatures. Joining me now is Swiss architect Philippe Ram, who specialises in sustainable urban architecture. Thank you very much for your time. Paris, as I mentioned there, has some distinct design flaws, thanks to its famous Hausmann buildings and their lead roofs. So what can be done within buildings, especially older buildings, to protect people from extreme heat? is to have thermal insulation because, uh, you know, during the day, if there is no thermal insulation, like 20 centimetres of thermal insulation, the heat from outside will go through the wall and so it will become very hot inside. So by creating a thermal insulation, you isolate the internal uh, space from the external. So this is the first measure uh, that we have to do. And then uh, we have to close the window during the day for in order that the hot air cannot go inside and during the night you have to open the the the, the window to let the cold air from the night going inside and then it's important to have some mass inside like uh, masonry or something that can absorb the coolness of the of the night and then during the day it will release this uh, cold inside uh, the, the the interior and so it will be better and then of course we have to manage the question of uh, of the light so we have to close the um, the louver to close you know to 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 block the radiation from the sun uh, from the south in order to not have radiant uh, heat inside and um, and then uh, something that is can be uh, really good is to have to paint in white the roof and also all the horizontal uh, of the of the city in order that the radiation can uh, bump on the on the roof and and go uh, back to the sky and so it will cool uh, let colder the the roof of the building so this is uh, some uh, measurement that we can take uh, immediately and then of course there is some other type of, um, of cooling by evaporation. If you have some water or some, um, some, uh, some uh, jet uh, water inside the house, like in Morocco, for example, they, they have that in the courtyard. So the, the change, the physical change from liquid to gas need energy, and so it reduces the temperature of the air. So this is something that we can do uh, for uh, fighting the, the heat waves. Uh, Philippe, as an Australian who's grown up in a country which deals with extreme heat and the architecture and the urban architecture certainly does what it can to counterbalance that. On a town planning scale, what can authorities do in European countries such as France to heat proof cities? Yeah, because the, the city was built for uh, the old climate. So if we want to adapt uh, to the new climate, we need to, to look to Africa, you know, to the north part of Africa, or what type of solution they were already use, using uh, in, the, in the past. So you can see that the, the streets were very narrow, so the sun cannot go inside. So the, the street in Europe, in France or in Switzerland, they are too large, so the sun can go everywhere, and so it's overheat. And, and because the, there is some black surface of bitumen, so it's absorbed the heat and it's become too hot. So this is, uh, of course, it's quite complicated to reduce the size of, this, of the street, but this is what we have to do in the future. And then we have to think about uh, to create shadow. Uh, so it can be made by textile, by roof, uh, by uh, trees, you know, in, in order to block the, the sun, sunshine and to keep cold uh, the street. And then when you open the window from your house, you know the, the air will be uh, colder. Philip, and, uh, uh, Philip Ram, I'm afraid we're running out of time. I'm so sorry, we're gonna to have to leave it there. Thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you very much. And to read more about why Paris is such a deadly city in heat waves, you can head to our website, that being France24.com.